Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. After being announced as a public project in 2014, the Gomorie Design Cluster Development Project of Pochon City was suspended due to economic uncertainties. However, this project can now proceed thanks to an investment commitment made by a private enterprise. This textile and furniture industry complex faced continued development delays after receiving negative feasibility study results this past April. That was until the largest furniture enterprise in Korea, Hansem, agreed to participate as a sole investor. With the addition of a private investor, Kyunggi Province and Pochon City are able to proceed with the development of this complex as a joint public and private project. An agreement was signed on October 14th to this effect. Project implementation will be undertaken by a corporation established jointly by Pochon City and Hansem. 단순한 산업 단지를 넘어서 지역 사회에서 소비자와 생산자가 같이 만나서 그 가치를 만들어 갈수 있는 그래서 소비와 생산의 소통의 장이 될수 있는 가구 산업의 디자인 쇼룸의 메카가 될수 있는 In addition to production and distribution facilities, this complex will include spaces that can be used by furniture showroom visitors for their own creations and experiences. Hansem expects that this project will create more than 2,600 new jobs and induce 190 billion Korean won in related production. The complex is also expected to boost the local economy through cooperation with local furniture enterprises and the employment of area residents. Groundbreaking is slated for October of 2021 after the completion of approval processes. Among five finalists in a local administration policy contest held by Kyunggi Province, titled Policy Market, Goyang City's Working with Local Clinics for Early Dementia Diagnosis Program won the top award. Held this past September, contest preliminaries saw fierce competition among 31 local policies. The five finalists were the Working with Local Clinics for Early Dementia Diagnosis Program of Goyang City, the 100 Korean Won Happy Taxi for Pregnant Women Program and the 50% College Tuition Support Program of Ansan City, the Disabled and Infant Caretakers Education Program of Namyangju City, and the Comprehensive Life Cycle Service Platform on Dream Program of Ichon City. During the finals, presenters did their utmost to sell their policies and answered penetrating questions asked by a judging panel consisting of specialists. Through online votes and on-site assessment, the top award went to Goyang City, while the second and third place awards went to Ichon City and Namyangju City, respectively. Uh, after the contest, Kyunggi Province bought superior local policies while selling its own policies. Those sold to local governments include pet insurance support, summer energy welfare support, and conservation programs for rivers and valleys. Local governments that purchase provincial policies will be provided with 50% subsidies for program operation. Through the policy market, Kyunggi Province will promote the expansion of superior policies throughout the province. After the Kyunggi policy market, 
an administrative policy contest held among local governments of Gyeonggi Province, the provincial administration decided to purchase three local policies. GTV examined Goyang City's Working with Local Clinics for Early Dementia Diagnosis Program, the first place winner of the contest. Concerned about her increasing forgetfulness, Kim visits the Dementia Anshim Center for screening tests. 어머니 지금 계절은 어느 계절이에요? 가을. 네. She is greatly relieved after the results of a memory test and interview indicate no issues. 정기적으로 받으면 좋죠. 뭐 예를 들어 초기에 왔으면 초기 빨리 그 약이 뭐 먹으면서 그 잡을 수 있으면. For the first time in Korea, Goyang City is providing residents with dementia test support in collaboration with local clinics. Any resident of Goyang City over 70 years of age can benefit from this program, which enables them to take dementia tests at local private clinics once a year, free of charge. With 120 participating clinics, this program improves early dementia diagnosis rates and reduces individual suffering as well as the social costs of dementia. This program recently received the top award in a local government policy contest titled Policy Market, which was organized by Kyunggi Province for the exchange of exemplary policies between the province and local governments. The comprehensive life cycle service platform On Dream program of Ichon City took second place this program provides a complete list of administrative services available to residents throughout their lives. Namyangju City's Disabled and Infant Caretaker Education Program took third place for its potential to address the shortage of teachers for the disabled and infants. Kyunggi Province will promote these three local government programs throughout the province after demand surveys and budget preparation. On October 15th, the 339th Kyunggi Provincial Assembly Extraordinary Session began its eight-day run. Drawing particular attention among the items to be reviewed during the session are those pertaining to Japanese restrictions on exports to Korea, including a number of ordinance drafts. During this extraordinary session, a total of 77 items will be reviewed. There are four items designed as responses to Japanese trade restrictions, including an ordinance draft restricting public offices from purchasing products made by Japanese enterprises involved in war crimes, as well as a resolution for related special committee establishment. The provincial administration has already had its Japanese trade restriction response budgets passed by the Kyunggi Provincial Assembly. Other session items include the Kyunggi Happy Housing Plan, with a new sale and completion system, an ordinance draft to safeguard children from secondhand smoke, and a proposal for alternative landfill development. The first general meeting of the session included five minute speeches by Kyunggi Provincial Assembly members. <laughs> The 339th Extraordinary Session of the Kyunggi Provincial Assembly will end on October 22nd with the second general meeting. Kyunggi Province designated Yangsuri Market in Yangpyeong City and Moran Market in Songnam City as this year's Kyunggi Commercial Promotion Zones. As pledged by the current provincial administration, Kyunggi Commercial Promotion Zone designation aims to promote traditional markets and adjacent commercial areas as combined zones. Designated zones will receive support of up to 4 billion Korean won in addition to facility and environment improvement support and marketing and special program assistance. Moran Market will receive support for the establishment of experiential spaces for special commodities, 
while Yangsuri Market will receive support for commercial promotion in connection with nearby tourism resources. Since being introduced for the first time in Korea, the emergency doctor helicopter service of Gyeonggi Province has been saving a life every 2.3 days on average. On September 4th at a construction site in Pyeongtaek City, a large concrete block fell on a worker injuring his neck and hip. With his airway almost blocked and his life at risk, the doctor helicopter was mobilized to transport him to a university hospital. During the flight, he received emergency medical care. His life was saved since he arrived at the hospital within 15 minutes of the accident thanks to the doctor helicopter. The first service of its kind in Korea, doctor helicopter operates 24-7 exclusively for medical emergencies. During its first 39 days of operation, from September 4th until October 12th, Dr. Helicopter was mobilized 19 times and helped save 17 lives. Its flights included seven emergency transport missions between hospitals. The flights of Dr. Helicopter also included six night missions as well as a flight to a neighboring province. Covering all of Kyunggi Province, Dr. Helicopter operates around the clock. The operational efficiency of Dr. Helicopter is also attributed to its clearance for landing on school playgrounds and athletic fields. Kyungi Province will continue to secure more landing sites for the Dr. Helicopter so as to facilitate its emergency rescue operations. Kyungi Province has secured 175.6 billion Korean won in national subsidies for its Social Overhead Capital, or SOC, projects. These funds will be used in the establishment of 44 SOC facilities in 23 localities of the province. Despite his physical disabilities, Song frequently visits a local welfare center. However, he faces difficulties since there are few facilities there for individuals with disabilities. Social overhead capital pertains to amenities for public convenience such as welfare, cultural and sports facilities. This site in Pocheon City was selected for one such SOC project, the establishment of a sports and rehabilitation center. A number of public libraries in the province will also receive improvement work such as reading room expansion in the Paju Central Library. The national subsidy secured for 2020, the largest amount among the 17 second-tier autonomies of Korea, will be used in the establishment of 44 SOC facilities in 23 cities and counties of the province. This past January, Kyunggi Province established an SOC team headed by Vice Governor Lee Hwa Soon to oversee project development. Including these national subsidies and local budgets, Kyunggi Province will invest a total of 571.9 billion Korean won in SOC projects from next year. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.